I'm Ryder Decker here at Hatter's Island Surf Shop. Hatter's Island Sail Shop. We're gonna do a little trick tip on a strapless ferro flip. So first, you need to do, know how to do normal shove its in the air on a surfboard. Not high ones, just like shove its and land fins first. Not 360 shove its, shove its. That's the first key to it. If you can actually practice shove its where you kind of pop and like wait a second, and then throw it, like a little late one that's smaller, that's actually great. For a varial flip, you wanna kinda do it where there's not a lot of wind on the water, if possible. If you can get like a little bit of a shadow, it definitely works better. Some wind actually helps the board flip. So yeah, you pop, find just a little kicker, just a light pop, twist, kinda get your angle ready for like how you wanna flip it, and then you just kick the corner just like you would think. And if you twist and kick the corner, the board kind of spins in a way where the wind actually like catches it for you and like flips it down for you. So if you do it right at the right height, it almost seems like it's automatic. Kind of lame. It's not as cool as like if people do it skating, you know, where you do it and you do a very flip and then your feet meet it and then you land back down. It's way harder to do that. You're better off just going not as high and flipping it so the timing is perfect to land fins first and you land right on it afterwards. And um, yeah, if you over kick it too hard, sometimes the board can turn, kind of turn into like a tray flip where it keeps rotating. But the main thing is getting a pop, twisting, so you're kind of like facing downwind and then kicking with your front foot in that corner as you kind of lightly kick the back. And then it kind of floats and you kind of float in the air after you kick it land fins first and then from there you can either revert shove it out of it or ole is the coolest way out of it i think it's the coolest way so yeah that's the varial flip Bye.